What is up everybody on YouTube? It's Richie Rich back at it again with another book review and today I want to review Con Tiki. Now Con Tiki is a book that I decided to read because it was on Ty Lopez's top 10 books at the time. Uh, this must have been like two years ago and I actually ordered the book and it never came. It took two years and Amazon said there's no copies of the book until recently and I was able to order it. Now Con Tiki for those who of you who don't know and not a lot of people know I have I had no idea about it before is a real story about a guy who rafted from Peru to Polynesia now you might be wondering well why the hell would anyone decide to go on a raft from Peru to Polynesia the reason being was that back in the day during those times in the I believe it was the 50s or 40s uh, the scientific community did not believe that people in Polynesia came from Peru and the author of this book, Thor Heyerdahl, decided to disprove that theory by taking matters into his own hand. Because Thor actually lived on Polynesia and he heard many stories of, of folk tales and just old stories of these people coming from a faraway island and one of the main characters being Kontiki, the sun god, coming from an island in the west. And I believe that Peru was to the west of Polynesia. Now, when he tried to um, validate his stories with research and try to get his papers published, no one would believe him. And at the time, he was broke and he had really nothing to lose. So he decided to assemble a crew and to prove to the world that, yes, in fact, people rafted from Peru all the way to Polynesia. Now, along the way, everyone said that it couldn't be done. Sailors said it couldn't be done. The scientists said it would be impossible. They said that they were going to drown. They would be attacked by wild fish. They would be eaten by squids. Basically, everything was against them. What's really amazing about this book is even with everything against them, th this group of people persevered and actually succeeded in their mission, which was to raft all the way from Peru to Polynesia. Now, rafting in itself is not easy, especially when you're crossing the fucking ocean. That is pretty hardcore thing to do. The story itself is really quite, it's, it's a testament to the human spirit. Even in the very beginning of their journey, uh, the crew had struggles. They had no money, so they had to basically beg people and bargain with people like the military and private companies to test out their equipment on the raft, and they were pretty much beta testing the equipment for them um, in return for getting to use the equipment for free. And I can see why um, this would be a book that's highly recommended. Like the the people in these in this book did an extraordinary thing. I remember um, reading a part where they were asking the U.S. military to test out their food rations, and the basically the general said something like, "There is no reason for us to give you the food, to, for us to actually give you the equipment. You're on a freaking raft. Um, there's no there's no real chance that this is gonna work, and no one's done it before. But you know what? We're gonna give this to you because you have the courage to do this. And I think that this book is a is a real testament." to the success principles that people talk about so much like perseverance you know you got to you got to you got to put your life on the line like these people literally put their fucking lives on the line to prove a scientific hypothesis and this is not one of those books that's catered toward an audience that's looking for success principles or anything like that however reading the book you can really learn a lot about what it really takes for someone to make an impact in the world uh, these people had to literally put their lives on the line and their reputation on the line as well. The book itself though, um, the way that it's written is very clear, concise, and it's very easy to read actually. It's actually a very well written book. It's a very straightforward beginning, middle, and end. And it surprisingly reads more like um, fiction books that I've read. And it's, it's actually surprising to think that this is, sometimes you're reading this, you're like, this can't be real, but it actually <laughs> happened. Now, the version of the book that I got luckily has uh, pictures in it. So it, it came with uh, pictures that the crew actually took while they were sailing from uh, Peru to Polynesia. And these are very interesting and they're, it's, it's, it's a cool to just see the pictures and the journey that they had to go through. The lessons I really got out of this book is, yeah, again, you have to be willing to do the things that other people are not if you want to achieve the things that other people won't achieve. And as well, it, you know, um, I think E.T. the E.T. Thomas, the uh, hip hop preacher, he always talks about how if you want to be successful, you want to ha you want it to be bad enough where you want it as much as you want to breathe air. 
and I think that's really true. These people were extremely dedicated to this cause. Like they, again, they literally were willing to die in the ocean to prove their point. And uh, you know, a lot of a lot of times it's hard for us to do that to make that jump and actually go for what we want to do. But you know, when I think about this book and and the, and the fact that these people were willing to go this far just to prove a scientific hypothesis, it really makes me think like, wow, may, well, maybe my problems are not as big. Overall, I highly recommend this book if you're interested in adventure books. Um, this book is a hell of an adventure. They go through a whole lot of stuff. I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to spoil the book, but they discover all sorts of marine life. It talks about how they survive day to day on the boats. And if you're also into survival or survival books like The Hatchet or um, similar books along that line of survival, then you'll really love this book as well. And uh, this version that I got, it's the Simon & Schuster Enriched Classic version, which has the uh, pictures in it. So this version has a bunch of pictures and uh, it just makes the book more fun to read, to be honest, because you get to actually see uh, what they're talking about. That's pretty much it for this book review. I thought it was a good read and I also thought it was a very inspirational book. So as opposed to a technical book, it's very inspirational. And it's just a fun read too, you know, not every book you have to read has to like give you something, right? It's sometimes you can just read books for fun. So that's it for Kontiki. It's a very short and concise review. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll leave a link actually to the version that I bought down below so that you can also get the ones with the pictures as well. Uh, I'm going to be finishing up some books really shortly and writing some reviews on those. So uh, stay tuned for that. And as well, subscribe if you like the channel for more reviews to come.